ICAR, Indian Institute of Horticultural Research, Bengaluru, is a premier institute of Indian Council of Agricultural Research, New Delhi. Recently, this institute has completed five decades of its contribution for the holistic development of Indian horticultural sector. The institute has developed and spread many varieties and hybrids, production techniques, integrated water, nutrient, insect, pest and disease management techniques in fruits, vegetables, ornamental, medicinal, aromatic crops and mushroom. The institute has two central horticultural experimental stations. One is located in Kodugu district of Karnataka and the other is located in Bhubaneshwar, Odisha. Two Krishi Vijnana Kendras under the institute are located in Gonikopal, Kodugu and Hirehalli, Tumko districts of Karnataka. Sri Krishnaya adopted Arka Kiran variety developed and commercialized by IIHR. He started a nursery of five acres in Vijayawada for supplying the planting materials of this variety and also earned a profit of rupees 60 lakhs by selling the planting materials of Arka Kiran. Mr. P. Murugeshan from Dindigal, Tamil Nadu has planted Arka Kiran variety of Gava in a distance of 3.5 into 3.5 feet. The yield and color of this variety is better than other varieties due to which this variety is widely accepted by the consumers and farmers. Mr. Mahabub from Bijapur growing Arka Sahan hybrid, which is having less seeds and more pulp. The taste of the pulp is very good. Mr. Rajesh Woza from Rajasthan is extracting pulp from Arka Sahan hybrid and he is selling pulp, seeds and rind also. Nothing is wasted here. He is getting direct benefit of rupees 5 to 6 lakhs from 1 hectare. ICAR IIHR has identified a former variety of jackfruit known as Siddhu, conserved by Mr. S. S. Paramesha, son of Mr. Siddhapa, who is a custodian of unique seedling tree. The chemical profiling of the variety suggested that the variety has higher lycopene and carotenoid content. The former has been promoted by the institute by a unique way of MOU in which the farmer would get 75% of every plant sold. Today, the farmer earns an income of 7 to 8 lakh rupees by way of propagation of Siddhu Jack. The tomato hybrid, Arka Rakshak, developed by IIHR, is a triple disease resistant variety which can reduce the cost of cultivation by 40%. Mr. Sunil Guru Siddhapa Jaganur from Belagavi has planted Arka Rakshak in one acre. This gives 15 to 20 kgs yield per plant. He harvested 40 tons of yield and earned an income of rupees 9 lakhs. After deducting an expenditure of 2 lakhs, a net return of rupees 7 lakhs is expected with an additional yield of 15 to 20 tons. Arka Kalyan variety is tolerant to diseases. Mr. Kotresh from Davanagare used to get 5 to 6 tons yield per acre from local varieties. But now, with Arka Kalyan, he is getting 20 to 30 tons per acre. Earlier, he was growing onion in one acre only, but now he has expanded it to 22 acres. Arka Kalyan has spread over more than 1,500 acres in Davangere area due to its higher yield potential. The variety which Mrs. Sampath from Mysore used to cultivate earlier was prone to powdery mildew infection. But Arka Meghna is not having this problem and the yield is also higher. He got an income of rupees 1.2 lakhs from one acre. He expects to get 2 to 3 lakh rupees more with an expenditure of 30,000 rupees. Mr. Mahadev Shetty from Chamarajanagara has grown Arka Mangala by spending an amount of 50,000 rupees and earned an income of rupees 3.5 lakh. Mr. Mahesh from Mandya is getting good yield from Arka Ambara and Arka Shreya hybrids. He has planted 2,000 seedlings and he is getting 15 to 17 kgs in a single harvest. He had planted 1,000 seedlings of local varieties from which he was getting only 1.5 kgs yield. He is getting more benefits from these hybrids. Mr. Siddharthan from Dharmapuri, Tamil Nadu is growing Arka Prajwal variety of tuberos. He has controlled the nematode problem by using the bioproducts of IIHR. The cost of cultivation was reduced from 15,000 rupees to 2,500. He is getting a yield of 16 to 18 tons in a year from one acre.
Mr. K. Sundaram from Hiriyuru has been getting 60 to 70 kg yield per plant. The bacterial blight disease was more in his orchard in the entire Hiriyur Taluk. Arka Microbial Consortium, AMC, has helped a lot to control this disease. Other chemical management practice will cost Rs. 350 to 400, wherein AMC has reduced the cost to Rs. 50 to 75. Since it is an organic product, the plants are healthy. In pomegranate, if AMC is sprayed with an interval of 15 days, farmers are assured of 100% result. Mr. Vijay from Hesaraghatta got training on mushroom cultivation and spawn production from IIHR. He started Deepthi Mushroom Seed Production Unit with the help of IIHR technology in 2016. He earns Rs 50,000 in a month. He is very happy and thankful to IIHR for providing that quality training. With the help of IIHR, Mr. Satyamurti from Krishnagiri, Tamil Nadu, has increased the capacity of dehydrated plant from 100 kgs to 1000 kgs per day. He is exporting the products mainly to UK, Canada and Australia. IIHR has manufactured fruits and vegetable vending van for hop comps. Freshness of the fruits and vegetables can be well maintained in this van compared to the street hawker's pushcart. Due to the eco-friendly solar panel, temperature can be maintained. The rates of fruits and vegetables are displayed in digital form. Central Horticultural Experimental Station, CHES Bhubaneswar, has been serving towards the upliftment of tribals in Raigada region of Odisha under Tribal Sub-Plan. Training on production technologies of high-density mango cultivation and propagation were imported along with the post-harvest techniques and marketing strategies for socio-economic development of the farmers. Similarly, Soligo tribes in Karnataka were imported training on seed production and commercial cultivation of mushrooms using IIHR technology, which improved their livelihood as well as nutritional security. A telling effect in the northeastern hilly region by utilizing services of KVKs can be seen wherein 773 demonstrations in 476 locations were taken up in Assam and seven states of northeastern hilly region. ICAR IIHR is also popularizing its technologies through frontline demonstrations, organizing diversity fairs and field days of various crops. Diversity fairs of jackfruit, mango, avocado, Spine Gold and Field Day of Dragon Fruit were organized at various places. These programs attracted large group of farmers from different regions of the country. As a part of the government policy, the institute also promotes startup entrepreneurship through business planning and development unit. After completing incubation in BPD, entrepreneurs Mr. Manoj Kumar, Mr. Srinivas and Mr. Gavaskar Jaikantan have established and expanded production units in Bengaluru with the capacity of more than 15,000 metric tons. Their turnover went up to rupees 5 crores per annum and provided employment for more than 50 trained youth. This is a bird's eye view of success journey of ICAR IIHR. The institute continues to strive hard to develop and transfer such technologies which will help the farmers not only to increase the yield and quality of horticultural produce, but also to double their income.